Live your passion. Instrumentation and control technicians perform a very important role in the production-intensive industrial and commercial processing operations environment. Managing plant measuring and control equipment, they use pneumatic, electronic and microcomputer devices to record and control variables such as pressure, flow, temperature, level, motion, force and composition. Meet our senior Muton a C&I technician employed by the diamond mining giant Namdeb. This is his story. Born and raised in Vintuk, Arsenio, already during his days at Pioneers Park, demonstrated an eagerness to work with his hands. Appreciating their child's technical keenness, his parents enrolled him at Vintuk Technical High School, where Arsenio completed his secondary school education in 2009. The next year, he signed up at the former Polytechnic of Namibia for a diploma course in engineering technology. Once he acquired his diploma, Arsenio enrolled for a Bachelor's of Electronic Engineering degree, which he obtained in 2015. Well, I've always been fascinated with how things work. So, um, I would always take video machines apart and TVs apart, never being able to put them back, but it was always interesting to see what, what, was, what made it tick. And um, that's how I started with basically electronic engineering because I fell in love with um, electronics, how they operate, and um, basically um, programming. That, that was also one thing that interested me quite a bit. I wasn't, I would say I was okay in math, but not the best. But uh, knowing how things work, that, that got me ticking. Today, our senior, as a senior C&I technician at Namdeb, plays an important job in the mine's operations in ensuring optimized and improved production. Um, as a CNI technician, we are responsible for all control and automation of the plant. We have to ensure that every level sensor, proxy sensor and um, is working properly. We are basically the eyes and the ears of the plant. So anything that's automated, that is CNI related and has low voltage, low currents and so forth, that has, that has to do with CNI. So this, for instance, is your valves opening and closing, the position of your valve, the level of your bins, the weight of your bins. All those instruments fall under CNI, uh, under the CNI field. And we are the eyes and the ears. So, for instance, if the operator is not able to, t to tell the level of the bin, you can have spillage on that bin or overflow. And we allow, throughout the whole process, you get a better indication of for take for example your car, if you didn't have an empty fuel gauge in your car, you would never know when you have, when your fuel is about to go out. So that's what a CNI tech does. We install those equipment that tell you, hey, your plant is running empty. You need to fill up again. Mines exist to produce valuable commodities while making profits for investors and key shareholders. Production is expensive and the need to ensure optimum production levels is of utmost importance. If a mine can't produce, it can't make a profit. As a senior tech on a daily basis, I have uh, four mechanicians that work under me. So on a daily basis, I need to ensure that um, all working environments are safe for use and that all instruments that are installed are safe to be used. And with that, we have daily schedules that are rolled out on these schedules, we ensure that, the, for instance, the level sensor is working as per OEM specs. That means taking millivolt me measurements and um, testing valves, whether they open and close and so forth. So that is on a daily routine what we do as CNI technicians. Our senior is a good problem solver, diligent, attentive and safety conscious 
and armed with his trusted multimeter, he adds significant value to the mine's bottom line in a production environment that is becoming increasingly automated. If you go further into it, they, you have to deal with plant breakdowns and so on on a day, not breakdowns, but uh, troubleshooting on a daily basis. So as a CNI um, tech, you have to be quick on your feet and know your basics, know your basic instruments, know how they work, understand your plan, because that's the only way you will solve a problem quick enough. And especially when in a plant situation, that plant needs to run 24 seven. So any delay is catastrophic to the planet. It costs the company a lot of com uh, money. So you need to ensure that that plant is operating efficiently at all times. For my team and my, our primary goal is recovery efficiency. And yes, we do achieve those targets. Our main objective every day is to ensure that all um, diamond recovery machines are operating efficiently and as per OEM specs. Now, what again it comes into that you want to limit the amount of human interaction to keep people safe. And that is our primary goal at LAMNEP. And to, to, if, if you look at recovery, we are the, we are the heart of the plant of, of NAMLEP. So we produce the carrots and we have to ensure that NAMLEP stays afloat. So for instance, let's say our recovery efficiency wasn't 96%. Out of all the material that goes through there, we have to ensure that we maintain the recovery efficiency of 96%. That means all the carrots that we put through, out of all that carrots, we have to recover 96% of that carrots. Anything else is then retreated to ensure that we maintain that efficiency. Now, what happens in case that is we don't reach that target? Well, it means we lose targets, we do not meet our sales objectives, and it means ultimately we reduce the life of mine because we're not reaching our financial objectives. Anything you want, you can achieve it if you just believe. Take you to a place you can be your true self. Live your passion, live your passion, yeah. Our senior skill and ability to fix sometimes very complicated instrumentation makes him an asset to NAMDEB. Renowned for the high premium it assigns to the health and safety of its workforce. We actually make the workplace a safer place. That is what our main objective is. For instance, if I can limit the number of people close to a belt, it creates a safer environment for everyone else because if someone perhaps accidentally falls onto a conveyor, it's, it just create unnecessary situations where people don't need to be involved. So it's to create a more hands-off approach and make the operator's life a lot easier. So by some people may think that CNI operation actually takes work away, but that's not the case. By increasing the efficiency of the plan, we're actually allowing NAMDEP to produce more carrots and thus be, be more profitable allowing for more job opportunities. But not just with that, we also create a much more safer environment because the less interactive interaction the person has with the plant, the more safer he is likely to be. Our senior excels in the mining environment with its sustained focus on increased levels of automation in boosting production and profitability. Aspiring towards completing a master's degree in industrial automation and eventually registration with the Engineering Council, he embraces the fast changes being brought about by enhanced production automation processes. But now we are on the verge of a new industrial revolution called the fourth industrial revolution. And what this basically means is that thanks to these smart guys, all these guys will connect to the internet or connect to the, to the cloud. We're going to get more control over our plant. No longer will we have to go and troubleshoot. The sensor will tell us, yes, I'm broken. Come repair me or I'm not operating as I should. So we're becoming more smarter and more safer. I, I believe career opportunities will shift. Whereas you may have needed a, a, a CNI tech that only focuses on instruments, and uh, doing voltage measurement, you will now shift that to a more software side. 
in order to adapt to the new environment. If we look at how the world is going, data acquisition is becoming more important. That means plants want to, they don't just want to know that a bin is full. They want to know the history of the bin. How did the bin perform? When last was it empty? They want all this information. For the youth and future people coming up, I would suggest focus on data acquisition, data analysis, and incorporate that with industrial engineering, which is basically what a CNI technician does, industrial engineering or electronic engineering. But that mix of software and data, that will be the future. When not at work, Arsenio spends time with his wife, Sheena. As they got married quite recently, the couple's only children are their adopted dogs, whom they often take for walks on the Oranjomun beach. He's a very thoughtful um, and thought-provoking person. He, he's very loyal, he's very uh, family-orientated. Uh, the way I got to know Arsenio, we built, a, we decided to take on a little project just in our friendship uh, where we decided to build a, a table out of wood. And that's where I, I really got to learn a lot about Arsenio. He's very um, goal orientated and when, once he starts something, he has to finish it. And that's what, what's given him a lot of promotions as well is that the minute he starts on something, it has to be finished. And he's a big team player. and. And I think those are quite, quite strong personalities and, and characteristics to have in a work environment and at home. Yeah. Sheena is really my support structure and my support system. And one thing one has to realize is the higher you climb up in the ladder, the more stressful situations become. So just even if I work late or it's been a long day, just coming home and seeing my wife and holding her and hugging her, and that that food. gives me motivation and food, yeah, and food. food. <laughs> <laughs> that that gives me the motivation to just push forward and and take it, take on another day. Arsenio Muton, diligent, industrious, and conscientious, driven by his aspiration to excel in the industrial automation field and to add value to the work and output of his employer. The sky is the limit for this energetic and ambitious control and instrumentation technician. His story teaches us that hard work always pays off, that hard work beats any talent any day. But more, if you are talented and work hard, you will be hard to beat. He is living his passion. Imagine, imagine Namdep is a big, I don't know, vehicle. And in, you're inside that vehicle, controlling this knob, opening that valve, switching on that fan. Control, it, it's fascinating. You're driving the car, you're driving Namdev, and that, 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 that just fascinated me. And the everyday challenges, the troubleshooting, those type of things, those are the things that, that I wake up for. Not that I want breakdowns all the time, but, but those challenges are what, what, what makes life interesting. Look, your passion. Live Your Passion is supported by the European Union.